Recently, I set out to create a really fun and approachable 3D modeling tool. I wanted to create something with a basic sort of limited functionality set that was really fun to play around with, where you could build straightforward, simple 3D models, but you could have a lot of fun uh, working within the limitations of the tool. And this is what I've come up with. Basically, it's a 10 by 10 by 10 grid into which you can click and draw cubes wherever you'd like. You can slice down through the grid to get to the level that you might like to draw on, and you can paint uh, on that specific level. You can also just paint into the grid on multiple levels at a time. And if you draw a cube that you don't want in there, you can just right click on that cube to remove it. It's really fun drawing in this way. Here's a cube that I made earlier of a sheep. And I'm gonna use this to demonstrate some of the color functionality of the program. Basically, every cube in the grid is assigned a color from the color palette, and you can change the color palette at any time if you wish for all of those cubes to change color. So, for example, these white cubes here that make up the fleece of the sheep, just say I decided I didn't want my sheep to have a white fleece, I wanted it to be a grey sheep, I could easily come into the color mixer here and change the color of all of those white cubes. Similarly, if I didn't want the ears to be pink, I could choose the pink here and come over here and change the color of those ears. If I liked, I could also change the background color. I can show and hide the grid here, so you can just work on the model uh, without the grid. Or you can show and hide the entire user interface if you just kind of want to solo the model, sit back and have a look at it. Now all the user interface here, everything that I'm showing you, is very much a work in progress. But uh, it's really fun to play with already. It's really fun to just make these cubes and design um, levels and that kind of thing. And the fantastic thing is once you've done with a cube in the modeling program, you can actually export it as an OBJ file. And you can take that OBJ file and you can use it for any kinds of things that you could do with that sort of 3D model. So you could potentially 3D print it. You could put it in a game. You could use it in other modeling software to edit it. You could do all kinds of things, so that's really fantastic. I have here an example game that I've put together that uses exclusively models that I made in my 3D modeling tool. So this proves that you can really take these models out of the tool and do something really cool and creative with them. So not only is it a really fun tool to play around with, but it's also a useful tool, which is fantastic.